Yo, this is Titano Plays, The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. So, we have gotten ourselves to the road to our next element, which is located somewhere in the Castor Wilds, apparently. Only problem is we can't cross the swamp and mire because we're sinking. But we know that with the Pegasus boots, we can cross over. Problem is, the shoe guy in town, he's sleeping. But the Minish people inside the building says if we get some sort of a... A item from the witch syrup then we can fix it all so let's head over to syrup's hut which is located in the northern part of the Minish woods so here we are at the Minish woods or we are at Lomon Ranch now but yeah we need to go here anyways to progress first of all I'm gonna do a little thing on my own let's get for the yeah, I hate these. This gave me heart back, so that's nice. Veil falls to up and Minish woods to down, like Helia to the right. I'm gonna use this one. Remember, every time you get a cool item, go on to explore a bit. Veil falls. This is a new place. But these ones we have met before, but this one carry bombs, so beware so they don't hit you with it. This is what we wanna get. You got a piece of heart. Now you have two pieces. Collect two more to increase your life energy. That's what we want. So now we just go up here again and we return to where we came from. I just wanna want to go from here, get a piece of heart. And let's go down towards the Lon Lon Ranch itself, which is located here. You will see some familiar faces coming out. Damn it. These bandits are nasty. Look who's here! You probably noticed these people from before. It's Malon and Talon. Or, I think it is. I can't remember the name. I lost my key, and I can't get inside. And the spirit key is inside the house. You wanna. F okay, we'll confuse Kinstone at least, can't we? Oh, I can't. I don't have a Kinstone piece of fits. What a pain! And I was thinking of going into town to sell Lon Lon milk! But if you notice to the left of this door, there's a little tiny door or entranceway. And there's a stump here. And, well, we can shrink in size. So if they have lost the key and the spare key is inside, well, let's go and get it for them. There we go. Ah, the key! You got the long, long ranch key. Now we can open the ranch door. Can we? Nothing happens. It's, this is one of the weird things. I don't get why they did this, but... Apparently, even though we have the long, long ranch key, we can't open the actual door. We have to give the door away to the guy instead. So let's just go down in size, and let's go up. Side and then let's go back to size in this place. I don't know what the hell the point is of this, but logic uh, doesn't always fix. Oh, our one and only spare key! I don't know how you got this, but I can thank you enough! Tell me your name, kid! Link? That's a great name! If you're a good need to go to Lake Helia, you're free to cut through our house. That's nice. Thank you very much, Link. Come visit us again. Okay. Never mind. Continue from this one? Nah, we've been here. Uh, a piece of that. A little bit evil to crush his pot, but that's, that's just me. So here we are back here again. Just with the cows and everything. Nothing really much to do here right now. Like he to right and strip the witch hut. There's just a problem. There's water here. And we can't swim. So we need to go find another way to get through. Luckily, this place has multiple ways to go across to Syrup the witch hut. So we go up here. And we use the the in the passy here. I didn't know 
want to set a fish stamp and a whirlwind. Let's go up the whirlwind first. And the grass only grew when I was in here. That's kind of quick. Yeah, this uh, piece of heart, we really want the piece of heart, but there's no way we can get it right now. Don't worry, we'll be getting it later. Go inside this place here. And we get a kinstone piece. That's nice. At least something we get. We'll get that piece of heart later. Don't worry. It won't be there for long because we're gonna snatch it, that's for sure. Come back to size. Now let's use this whirlwind pod here to fly across to the other side. Just straight south. That. Just play things here. Maybe get a heart or something. I don't know. I just, I just like to be full health. You never know what happens. Oh! Big Witch! Kinstone piece. Yeah, sometimes they're hidden a bit in random locations. I think it's that if you have some missable kinstone pieces, they'll be available in the lo in the in the wild. Now with this whirlwind, we can actually go across the water. Oh, almost getting it. We are through. Now we can get to Syrups the witch hut. It's gonna be really nice. There it is, nothing here. Okay, Lake Helia. Thing we can do right here. Let's see. Get away from me. Welcome to Major Hagen's Lakeside Cabin. Uh, okay. Let's see if there's something else here then. Let's just go down. Finish Woods. We're back here again. That means we are very close to the hut. But before we go to the hut, remember that we used the kinstone earlier? Let's see what this chest has to offer us. We got a kinstone piece! That's nice. We use a kinstone piece, get another kinstone piece. And logic, I guess. But now, speaking of piece of heart, remember this one from the uh, first episodes we had? Now we get this piece of heart. Awesome. Now we have three pieces, so we just need one more piece and we'll increase our health from seven to eight times. Gonna be really nice. We get a lot of health, which is gonna be really nice in the upcoming dungeons to come. Sorry of the Witch Hunt. Major Huggins Lakeside Cabin. This place we can't go through yet because we're missing an important item. We'll be getting this item not that long now, actually. Getting some bombs. And here we are. Start up the witch's hut. Hey, welcome! Care for some Granny's homemade blue potion? One zip and you're full of energy! Please look around. Yeah, the blue potion is actually really nice. Remember, if you played Zelda before, green potion restores health. No, a red potion restores health. Green potion restores the energy bar, if we don't have it here. And blue is for both. If you don't have energy here, then I guess this is for just health. But this is what we want. Ah, yes! A fine choice, my dear! That's a limited time article! One whiff and you're wide awake! That's why it's called a wake-up mushroom! Would you like to buy it for 60 rupees? Sure. You got a wake-up mushroom! It's nasty stent chases away the sleepies. You got an eye for fine goods! That, my dear, is my highly regarded homemade blue potion! Yeah, no thanks. I don't want to have a fairy in the bottle instead. Oh well, now at least we have the very important mushroom. Now we can go back to Hyrule, Cas Hyrule Town, not Castle. We're gonna go back to town and we can get ourselves very critical and important Pegasus boots. But there's one more thing we're gonna do before that, because if we go left from here, we'll be back at Long Long Ranch, just south of the actual ranch. Just go through this, and if you see on the right left side here, there's a Goron punching the wall. Now, this is actually what we're going to talk a bit about a weird thing. If you play different versions of the game, there will be different kinds of what you will be seeing right here. Basically, in... I don't know which game version I'm playing, if I'm playing European or American game, but in one of the games there will be a whirlwind here, but in, in one of the other games, in the European version, the whirlwind is missing. But it's still there, it's just invisible. Let me just show you an example. So, you want to go across to talk with the Goron. So, you go to the left here. 
my thing here, I'm just gonna go up here and I'll make it around here. Tough luck. Not happening. However, if you go a bit up higher, then for some reason you actually make the ledge. For some very bad reason. So you just go around. Go up here and then go more north. Like this. And then you make it. For some weird reason. Yeah, logic, perhaps. It's because there is a whirlwind there, we can't see it, it's because of the glitch in the game, so you can't see the whirlwind, but it's still there. Now we can move this one. And we can go to Goron whenever we want to. This thing just won't break. We need more friends to give us a hand. But he wants to feel skin stones as well, though. You wanna few skin stones? Okay, that sounds good. Let's do that. The two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Let's see what this Goron will help for us. Aha, this is gonna be nice. This is back at Hyrule Town. And who's that? It looks like a merchant. He has a big bag at least, and a, and a charge. A nice hat. It's been a long time since the last wizard in Hyrule. I hope I can sell lots of kinstones here. Awesome. Now we unlock the merchant inside of Hyrule Town. This guy will sell kinstones to us that we can use to get some cool stuff. Hmm, they fit perfectly. So that's good. That's nice. Really nice. One more thing we're gonna do. It's gonna head here, down to the eastern hills. Slash this thing. Just in case there's a kinstone. Probably not. But there's some farmers here. Let's talk with them. Maybe they know something. I love working in my garden. It makes me feel so close to nature. And sometimes, just sometimes, I dig up a kinstone from the ground. What's up with there, bud? You saying you wanna match kinstone pieces? Sure thing. Let's match it up. Two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Let's see what this one does. It's always funny to see what you can get. This is the Gorm we just talked to. It's affecting him. I feel so much stronger now. Here we go! Oh, nice, he's going mad. Boom! It looks like it's finally open. Come on, let's go on in! That'd be cool. Just north of where we are. Well, look at that! A perfect fit! This guy wants to fuse as well? Sure. Wanna fuse Kinstone pieces? Yeah, rock and roll! Uh, yeah, we do have a Kinstone piece of this. That's nice. So let's see what this hat will do. Let's see. There it goes. Ah, this is back at Mount uh, Crenel. There's a chest. Probably containing another kinstone piece or something else. That's kinda cool. Fits like a chip all the old rock. Oh rock and roll. That's kinda cool. Now the thing is that the Goron thing would just happen now that we helped him go through his cave. Well, let's just check the cave actually. Then we to just explain to you. This thing just won't break. We need more friends to give us a hand. You see that thing here? It's like a Goron space next to him? Yeah, this whole thing is what we call a side quest. Basically, certain people when you fuse kinstones with will make more Gorons come down to this to this uh, tunnel and help this guy break the wall through. There will be more of these rocks ahead with more Gorons required to break the rock. But eventually, if you get them all through, you'll get a very, very nice item in the end. So that's something you just can just remember for uh, in the future. Oh yeah! Speaking of which, there's uh, still one more thing we want to do. Actually, a very important thing. I would say it's a rather important thing. But okay, Napachi, Popazzi here. Let's go up here. In here and a little house or tree house. Aha, we know what this is. This is a great fairy fountain. Last time we got increased bomb bags. What will happen this time?
Welcome to the Adventure Spring! I need many rupees right now. Please throw all of yours into the spring. Um, uh, all our rupees? Are you crazy? Well, <laughs> I guess we can trust her, can't we? Okay, it probably won't be anything bad. But let's just let's do do it for her. Really? You know that if you do this, you will have absolutely no rupees left, right? Will you really throw them all in? Um. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, uh, let's just do it. She's nice. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe get good fortune. You are most kind. I did not really need your rupees. But I must reward such a kind adventure with some of my power. You got a big wallet. Now you can carry more rupees. May your farewell in your quest. Now that's what I would call good fortune indeed. So we get to keep our rupees and now our rupee bag has increased from 300 rupees to 500 rupees. That's right, half a... 500 rupees, half a thousand rupees we can now carry with us at any time. Which is gonna be really nice. Really, really nice at least in my opinion. So that's kind of what we've been able to do for so well. We got ourselves the uh, some pieces of heart, we got ourselves some chinstone fusing, and everything seems to be really, really nice. Now, let's go back to town because we've basically done whatever we should be doing right now, so let's just head back into Hyrule Town. Remember the one of the chinstones we fused with the Goron that spawned the uh, Goron merchant? Well, check it out with him. He should be here. There he is. Bring whatever piece you like. The shape you like is simply a matter of personal taste, Goro. We have a red kinstone, we have a blue kinstone, we have a green kinstone. Let's see, what do we actually need of kinstones? We have two red. No, we have to see, we have one, two red, five green, and five blue. We probably need to have a red one. Yes, twin stones. Each one is different, Goro. This twin stone costs 200 rupees. 200? <laughs> okay, let's wait. No deal, Goro. Too bad, but come again, I'll always have good pieces. Yeah, I don't think I'll buy that for that price. Uh, let's not. Let's go back to the shoe shop, though. This guy is sleeping. Let's see if he wakes up now. Roar! What is that terrifying bad smell? A wake-up mushroom? I should have guessed. So you woke me up. Thanks, I just remembered I have something urgent to do. Huh, what now? You have more new shoes? You probably don't believe this, but... I have a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. <laughs> wow. I wonder who made them. Hmm. So you must have come here because you want some of my shoes, right? Tell you what, because you were nice enough to wake me, you can have them. Hold on a sec though, I just want to finish this one last bit. And there we go! Here, take these! Those are my special Pegasus boots! They're so light you'll feel like you're practically walking on air! You got the Pegasus boots. Hold the button to run faster than the wind. Oh, I need to hurry up and get working on that special order. The king asked me to make some shoes for Princess Zelda, you see. Thanks for waking me up. Come back if I can ever help you with shoe problems. Awesome, we have the Pegasus shoes. That means we can finally cross the Castle Wilds and go searching for our next element. But the thing is, there actually might be more things that we can do before we head to Cast the Wilds, and I think I'm actually gonna do that first. And once I've done that, then we're gonna go to Cast the Wilds. So, our side quest journey has not been finished yet. There's still some more stuff to do before we'll be heading into the Cast the Wilds, because the more things we get now, the better we'll be in the very future. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, or feedback when we talk about this game, leave a comment below. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel to get content updates. And that's gonna be it for now, so I'll see you guys next time as my story of the Legend of Zelda, the Manish Cap, continues. See you guys.